In this video, we will create a template for printing multiples of the same product using a tray. First, we will start by opening the EPS tray template file provided by the factory to gather some information. For this example, I'm going to use the 3-in-1 tray factory file. And I will take note of the horizontal and vertical spacing, as well as the starting points listed here. Now open your RIP software and click the View tab and the Template option to create and save a tray template. Select the best shape to match the tray cutouts. In this case, we will select the circle to match our 3-in-1 printing tray. We will create the template shape and size first. Refer to the starting points listed in your factory template and enter these now. Next, enter the dimensions of the product cutout on the tray. This cutout measures 41 millimeters. Now we will subtract the width of the product outline from the horizontal spacing and the height from the vertical spacing to calculate the correct intervals. In this case, the horizontal and vertical spacing are the same, 50 millimeters. Likewise, the height and width are the same. When we subtract our tray spacing, from the cutout measurement of 41 millimeters, it gives us an interval of 9 millimeters for both X and Y. Now, using the intervals, we'll multiply the template across and down the bed according to the tray. For this tray, we enter 5 for the X steps to multiply across, and 12 for the Y steps to multiply down. The template is now set for a full tray to be loaded with product. Save the template, for example, name the template with the customer name or tray type and X and Y interval. In this case, our template is saved as 3-in-1, so we will use this existing template. To apply the multiple template to an image being printed on the product, select the desired image from the image directory. Then select View, Template, select the Save Template and click Apply to center the image. Then OK to exit the template window. You are now ready to print. Once the template is made, it should cover the whole imprint area available. As long as you have entered the starting points provided in the factory template file, as your start X and Y positions in the template window, your template should line up perfectly with the tray. If you need to adjust the size of your imprint, you can use the Output Size feature in the Layout tab to enter a specific measurement. Then click the Center button at the top of the tab to recenter the newly sized image. It's a good idea to create two template files, one for the entire tray and one for a single product. You can do this by reducing the X and Y steps to 1 in your template window and saving a new template. This single object template allows the operator to test print one product at a time or to ensure that the template is aligned with the tray before printing a full tray of product. Tip segment. Once the template files are created and saved, you can file them in the directory. C Drive, Partner RIP, Template. These files can be moved or copied from one PC to another and used in multiple RIPs by adding them to the same directory. Simply copy and paste the files to another directory or back up the template files to a server or other safe location.